What is up guys, my name is Banner Vortex Nitro XP, and in today's Call of Duty video, I'm going to be talking to you guys about a new series that I want to start on my channel, and I'm hoping that it gets you guys engaged and, uh, you know, promote some channel interaction, but I'm going to start this little loadout series, I don't, I'm not necessarily sure what I'm going to call it yet, but we'll figure that out down the road. Alright, but basically... This series is about Call of Duty classes, and it's either about ones that I thought up, or you guys tell me in the comments, or tweet at me, and I will feature it in my next video. So the first class we have here today is the Infinite Warfare class. Now, the Infinite Warfare class is very interesting, because I tried to take, like, Basically, I looked at the gameplay and stuff that I've seen of Infinite Warfare, and I basically transformed it into a Black Ops 3 class. So we are using the HVK-40, or I'm sorry, 30, which is in the Assault Rifle category, and I put an ELO sight on it, and it's meant to simulate the M4-styled rifle that we have in Infinite Warfare multiplayer. The second weapon that I put on it is the RK-5 with Full Metal Jacket. Uh, and the reason why I put that on is because there are confirmed burst pistols. I believe there is a burst pistol revolver in um, Infinite Warfare, which is pretty cool. Then I have trip mines, because trip mines are a confirmed thing for Infinite Warfare. And then finally we have the concussions. Now, I don't know if concussions are actually in the game. But, what's a Call of Duty game without concussions, let's be honest. Now, with this class, I have also added Fear, I believe is the name of the camo, from Zombies, onto the HVK. And, I added it onto the HVK because I feel like there's definitely gotta be a Red Tiger-esque camo in Infinite Warfare, and if there's not, it's definitely going to be in Call of Duty 4 Remastered. You will also notice in this video that I have put Red Hex camo on the RK-5. That is because I like the Red Hex camo. I don't think it's going to be in the game. I don't know that for sure, but I don't think so. Uh, and the way that this class handles, the HVK-30 with ELO sight is perfect for your medium to close range combat, I wouldn't use it for long range combat because I feel like you definitely w lose uh, in most of your gunfights at very longer ranges. Like, try to avoid long shot medals. In terms of the RK5, the RK5 is actually kind of bad. Um, I'm not saying that the RK5 is bad, but what I'm saying is in tandem with the HVK30, it is bad, dude. Like, the chemistry just doesn't go well. When you get used to using the HVK-30 like I did, if you ever use this class, and you use the HVK-30 like I did, and you just use a whole, like, three-fourths of the match with it, and then you switch over to an RK-5 later, you are going to be owned so hard by everybody else. And I don't know what it is about it. It's just I get used to the accuracy of the HVK-30 when I switch to the RK-5. It's actually pretty much the only downside to this class. Now as you were just seeing there on screen, I was also using War Machine. That does not hold any significance with anything Infinite Warfare as well. Uh, let me know down in the comments if you post a class. Tell me what specialist you want and what perks you want as well. And, uh, you know, I'm looking for classes that are maybe, like, you know, based off of things, or just maybe classes that are nearly impossible to use in this game. I'm not gonna pick a class that, like, has nothing on it, or, or a class that only has, like, a black cell and then, like, throwing, uh, axes or something like that. I mean, I'm not gonna go way over the top. But if you give me, like, a relatively normal class to use that is actually usable, just maybe difficult or something, I will definitely 
definitely use whatever gun you want and try to come up with some creative things, you know? Try to come up with some creative classes, you know? Don't just try to bog me down with the hardest class and then call it the shit class. Like, you... Like, try to get creative with it, you know? Maybe do some research, you know? Like, maybe find, you know, some weapons that the SWAT would use, you know? Maybe, like, a... CUDA class, you know, SWAT or something. You know, be creative with it, guys. But, ultimately, the class is almost completely up to you guys. So let me know in the comments down below what class I should do next. All in all, I would rate this class... A 7 out of 10 because I did pretty well in my game with this and I just thought it was freaking bonkers that I did this well with this gun and I use it so like I don't use it at all I use it so rarely and yet I did so good with this gun so let me know in the comment section down below what class you guys want me to use next and if you want me to use that class in the next video make sure you hit the like button to ensure that that next video gets made and as always guys we'll see you all in the next activity bye bye